What is going on guys, it is Golly here bringing you guys a little bit of a different video on my channel. Uh, I recently just ordered the um, SKRS 18-speed uh, shifter for my little homemade rig sim, I don't know what you want to call it. But basically, I'm sure if you're watching this video you know what it is. This is a shift knob that reenacts a semi, has the range and the splitter. Basically, you can see the picture on the side there. Um, but I ordered this off of Amazon and I believe this is the newer model of this uh, shifter because I remember the older one had like a giant, I don't know what you want to call it, like range switch on it. And uh, it was like plastic near the bottom and I don't know. We're going to open it up and see if this is the new one. But like I said, I ordered this off of Amazon. I'll put the link in the description below. Um, also, I do apologize. I am filming this with my phone. So... You're going to have to bear with me on that. Um, so yeah, let's go ahead and open it up. I haven't seen any of it yet. I basically just set it all up so I can, you know, get it all open while filming. So let's see if I can do this one-handed. So upon presentation, this shift knob looks sick. I did get the easy brake uh, break switch, but I think they call it the easy brake switch, which I don't know why, but um, so yeah. Here is the shift knob, and upon first reaction, it is a lot smaller, like everybody is saying, but, dude, it feels sweet. I'm really excited. So here is the splitter right here. This one is pretty easy to move. Um, and then you have your range, which feels a lot stiffer. Now, I was watching videos on this um, as I purchased it, just because, you know, that new purchase hype, you gotta watch videos, and I'm sure that's what you guys are doing as well um but a lot of people said this is hard to move which this feels like an actual range um uh, switch to me this feels i don't want to even say stiff it's still easy to move once you're you know you're actually on um the shifter post whatever you want to call it so i don't see this being atrocious to move or whatever you want to call it and then obviously like i said this one's pretty easy to move and then you have the Jake brake switch right here, which feels like your normal switch. Um, so yeah, then you got your little, uh, I want to say warranty sticker there, which I don't know why they put it there, but. Um, and then one thing I think I'm missing, but I don't know. Um, I thought they included a little leather shift boot, but I could be wrong. So anyway. Let's go ahead and get this all set up, and I'll give you guys my first impressions. Alrighty guys, I forgot to show you how to actually put the uh, SKRS shift knob on. Um, I'm sure most of you already know how to do this, but it's very simple. Just pry off that plastic cap on top of your uh, G27 shifter, or um, if you don't have a G27, look up your shift knob removal guide or whatever, and there will be a screw down in there, which I already took out, and then just comes right off so um, I just noticed I thought most of them had a Phillips um, screw down or whatever you want it like you know a Titan screw kind of similar to the G27 but on the side um, but I'm not seeing it and there's a screw missing there and then there's two here so I guess I'll just loosen those two and then put the shift knob on but anyway figured I'd show you that real quick and uh, still give you guys my first impressions Alrighty guys, I apologize. I do have my window open, so if you hear the curtain banging around, that is, that's why. Um, but as you can see, the shifter is on. There's the range and the splitter. Um, so yeah, uh, as well as the uh, Jake button. But we're gonna go to options. We're gonna go to controls, input wizard, uh, controllers, H shifter, range splitter, and then we're gonna go to advanced setup. Oops, sorry. And then we're gonna go here. I know that was pretty fast, but um, now we're going to click shifter toggle. This is gonna be your range. So you're gonna go up one, down one. As you can see, it's bound. Then you're gonna go to your splitter. You can go up one, down one. It's bound. And click next. Finish wizard. And then you're going to go to controls again, scroll down and make sure 
shift her toggles uses switch mode. So once that's set, I'm going to go ahead and set my Jake brake as well, uh, which is engine brake toggle. I'm going to go up one, down one, and it's set. So we're going to go ahead and in game. So we're going to go ahead and start up our truck. We're not going to start it, but I'm just going to show you guys that it does work. So clutch is in, and we're going to put it first. So there's first, come out of first, go up one, there's second. And then you want to go into second, uh, you want to put that back down. Now you're in third, come out, fourth. And then for your range, flip that up, you can see you're in 11th. So... Don't mind the mess of wires, but that is the uh, SKRS 18-speed um, shifter. This is it set up on my G27. But uh, yeah, guys, I hope you guys enjoyed this little video of my SKRS shifter. I know it wasn't the best compared to others out there, but I figured I'd make it my own. And uh, happy trucking, guys. I'm a class, see you on TV, sunset shit done change Ever since we was on, I dreamed it all Ever since I was young, they said I won't be nothing Now they always say congratulations Worked so hard, forgot how to vacation